Hey, I'm JT Taylor from Colorado Springs, Colorado with Torchmate Racing. Out here with the uh, Torchmate TTB car, number 13. I qualified second today. We start second off the line behind Shannon Campbell. We're going to go chase him down. My man Jason Berger is going to get us there, get through the dust, and uh, we're going to have a good time. By my rough math here, over 30 minutes. And a time of 5 hours and 14 minutes, 37 seconds. Number 13, the Torchmate TTB car, JT Taylor, Jason Taylor. So we turned it up, and Berger was calling those corners, man. He was just on it, on it, on it. Um, only I ran out of town on one corner all day long. And uh, other than that, we hit our marks every single time. And the car performed flawlessly. Um, we did come back into the pit after the second 17-mile loop. Had a burnt plug wire, and the guys jumped on it. Got it knocked out real quick. Went back out, and I think we burned another one right away. So then we had to kind of baby it, figure, find the right RPM range to where the car was happy. And instead of hauling butt into the corner, locking up the brakes, and then coming out on the throttle, we had to keep the throttle steady and float it through the corners. This is actually a lot more fun because it was faster. <laughs> but uh, no, it was. I can't thank uh, Torchmate, Goodyear. Uh, you know. The Goodyear tired. We didn't have a single flat all day. Unbelievable. Um, but the guys that built this car, um, and then the Radflow shocks, just soft, nice ride all day long. We were running through that rough stuff like it wasn't there. Burger was like, what? <laughs> um, also, thanks to uh, Warren Winches, and uh, last but not least, definitely uh, Lincoln Electric. You know, they're partnered up now with us with uh, Torchmate. So we have to thank Lincoln Electric for, uh, for helping us out and uh, coming out and being part of it. You know, Mickey came out and saw it. So, you know, we put a win in the books. Hopefully, knock on wood, we're still waiting. But uh, it was a great day. Great day to be an American. I'm Jesse Haynes from Reno, Nevada, driving the 4499 Torch Ring car. for coming to Reno. I know, uh, you know, I know how much you go through to get your cars ready and everything and travel across the country, a lot of people. So, it, you know, if you're willing to come all the way to our backyard, the least we can do is, you know, be a big part of the race. So, anyway, thanks for, thanks for coming. This is a huge deal for Torchmate um, to have all you guys come from all over the country, take your time off work, and, uh, come out and race a race that uh, Don and uh, Dave busted their butts put together with Roger Norman and innumerable other people. We just want to thank you uh, for making this a great race. It's been a long time coming for me. Been racing Ultra 4 for a long time. OG 13 was out there at the beginning of it. Never won a race. I've DNF'd every single King of the Hammers except for the first one. So this is a big freaking deal. <laughs> So I have to thank uh, 
Mr. Coons, my boss, and uh, the guy that's brave enough to let me drive this badass car that he built, and um, the design team at Torchmate, uh, Mike Aiello, Nick Socia, Jesse Haynes, the guys that were behind the, the thoughts of building this car. And then Jake Povey, my crew chief, that welded 99.9% .9 of every bead that's on that car, and it looks like machine welds. It's a piece of art because of that kid. Um, Kat, who wired it, came in and busted his butt. Thomas, who came in and busted his butt and helped us, you know. And all of the crew that came out and helped us today, my two guys that came out from Colorado, uh, you know, I just, I can't say enough about how these guys put it together, built this car. We got our butt kicked to King of the Hammers with new car blues, but we proved something today for that car, Bill. We proved it today. And Shannon Campbell, coming. <laughs> So again, thank every single one of you for doing what you do, for competing with us, for making this fun, and making it hard. Because I had to run hard, we're running clean air, but we had to run hard because we knew all you guys had a target on our ass. So we had to run hard. And Jason Berger, oh my God, the best co-driver ever. I mean, he called those corners perfectly, so thank you so much, Jay. So, Let's tear it up. Thank you very much. When you have to cut the same part over and over and over, this is the way to do it. The Torchmate 2x2 was designed to be portable so that you could use it in your garage or use it in the back of your truck or on a job site, wherever, and then put it away. We service it and we support it better than anybody does. Uncreate it, be up and running inside of a half hour. Four axis that does routing and we've got our three axis that does plasma cutting. It's one tiny little box hooked up to your computer, hooked up to your table and you're off and running.